concern growing that North Korea may be even closer to launching another nuclear test than we thought. As Pyongyang blames President Trump's, quote, aggressive tweets for the rising tension in that region. Senior Foreign Affairs Correspondent Greg Palcott is live today for us from Pyongyang. Hi, Shannon. Greg. War talk coming from North Korea on the eve of maybe the most dangerous day of the year here. North Korea's leader, Kim Jong-un, his deputy foreign minister, Han sung Ryol, speaking to Associated Press today and telling them what we have been hearing from North Korean officials here for the past couple of days, that they will confront what they call reckless U.S. military maneuvers with a preemptive strike using a powerful nuclear deterrent. Here's a bit more of what he had to say. We are taking into account the most aggressive and dangerous option that the U.S. might come up with. And we also have our options, our countermeasures ready in our hands, which means we'll go to war if they choose. As the people of Pyongyang get ready to mark the anniversary of the birthday of the founder, Kim Il-sung, there have also been reports that they might detonate a nuclear device at this time. That official today said the government would do that at the time and the place of their choosing. Finally, as we watch North Korean military officers pay their respects at the birthplace of the founder just outside of Pyongyang, we also heard that official talk about President Trump, saying that he was the one making trouble these days with his administration's vicious and aggressive provocations. Listen to some provocative words that we heard from a North Korean colonel today. Even though the U.S. is trying to invade our country or attack it, they won't do it. Because we have such a major strength, if they do it, we would smash their heads, we would blow them up. By the way, at one point, uh, President Trump has suggested that he could share a hamburger with Kim Jong-un to work things out. Well, we heard from the, that official on this point, too, and he said no way that it was just lip service. Fighting words. Back to you. Mm, that would be very interesting. All right, Greg Palcott, thank you very much. So